It's been a couple of days since uh, I made a video on Case Blue. Uh, the last one you probably saw was my uh, little efforts down here or, or contemplations about the moving the German forces. I had five or six divisions uh, arrayed here just south of Moscow uh, and south of the Oka River and I was planning on you know sweeping around like this which I did do. <coughs> uh, it was a it is a risky move and does uh, as you can see there's you know a fairly substantial gap in any potential supply lines. I've got a, a trace supply truck here which can reach back to another truck that's just in the just out of the shot there uh, in Tula, just back there. Um, well, that's Tula, but then back here. So I've got a couple of Soviet units out of supply here. They can we can trace a line around this, and, and we're all we're all good. Um, so two truck extenders make that happen. Now, uh, as the Soviet players, so let's put our Soviet cap on and you know think in Russian accents and talk about vodka and borscht, or no, not borscht, but whatever it is that we're gonna eat. Drink. Um, <clears throat> the inability for the Soviet play to either build a consistently effective defensive line uh, in enough enough depth, or uh, or not make tragic mistakes, is uh, causing a lot of pain and a lot of grief for the Soviet player and. It would seem uh, that now is a, probably an ideal time or the only time where, you know, offense is the best defense. And <clears throat> I have, and the problem I have is, you know, we just don't have a lot of units. This turn, however, all of this uh, comes onto the map, including finally some decent rebuilds. I, uh, I got two packs this turn and an equipment and uh, elected. These were the two best units I could rebuild. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a blocked up uh, <coughs> snozzer today. Uh, while there's not a lot of quality, there is a lot of quantity here, and this uh, this may have to do. Uh, I've already moved this HQ here, so don't freak out about that. Uh, and I've moved these uh, these guys up here, this airborne and this one guard unit, the 35th guard. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. The short version of this is, I was thinking about railing in uh, units from here, or maybe up to here, and uh, and pressing against the supply line here, blocking this avenue of support off, number one, and taking this uh, band of merry men or not so merry men. There's a few decent cab units in here that can move a fair distance. And the rivers are frozen, it's light freeze, <coughs> or moderate freeze, I forget which it is. But anyway, same same uh, situation, it's gonna freeze. I think this river is a major river, so it will matter whether it's light or moderate. Let me just check for us, and I'll pause the camera. Yeah, yeah it's moderate freeze. So uh, these are all frozen and we'll, uh, we'll be able to uh, bash across here. I'll double check to make sure we can do that, but we'll bash across here and let's just try and cause some problems. So now, even if this is not successful, even if we end up losing a bunch of units or getting pocketed or whatever the case may be, what it's going to do is for a turn or two is delay any activity of, of, of these guys moving this way because 80% of the forces here are uh, armored and they ain't going anywhere from where they are without fuel. There are several fuel trucks floating around here that have fuel and there's uh, SP here, uh, you know, as the enemy, I'm not supposed to see that, but sure, we brought up one SP. So we can fuel a few little bits and pieces and keep guys in trace if things go bad, but it's not a long-term long -term solution, right? So, so with that quantity of forces coming on here, we'll split, maybe take all of that and put it, uh, well, I can't take all of it, maybe half of it, and bring it in down to the south. <clears throat> and next turn, we get the same, uh, basically the same amounts. In fact, the next two turns, you can see this, but the uh, you know, next two turns, these are the reinforcements for the next two turns. Uh, so it's fairly substantial. That all comes <clears throat> in on these maps here. I think that might be, that might alleviate the pressure on Moscow uh, 
because the Germans are pursuing a, a supply cutoff strategy. They've cut everything except for this this one rail line here, this guy and this guy are off the board uh, because of the, the reach up here. Now, what we're going to do up here is a whole nother problem. I, I'm actually not too worried about, <coughs> excuse me, too worried about what's going on up there. There's a, a, a small clump of units that can hold out for a while. There's quite a bit of SP here, not, uh, and they have they have trace heading back uh, to the northern map edge, even though there are forces up here that may cause some problems. So. So in the north is really where the majority of the game is, and that's where we declared Schwerpunkt for the Germans, uh, which I, you know, I didn't want to do. I had mentioned earlier on that I was going to you know, use December to prepare for a big push south, uh, try and knock out the Soviets in a uh, all-out offensive in the south. But as I looked at the map and I looked at these, uh, you know, these situations here, and I did some calculating of what could be achieved and how far we could get, I thought it was worth an effort to, to try and encircle Moscow and, and choke it out from a supply perspective. Clearly not going to uh, defeat that massive force in any way, shape or form, unless it's via a supply cutoff. Uh, <clears throat> too many units which could uh, too easily be uh, you know, buried in uh, you know, level two, level three, level four hedgehogs uh, quite easily, even though most of these are ones and twos here. Uh, you know, this defense along this line here, there's two, you know, it's too deep. Uh, nearly every hex has a three TQ unit. And that one only has one unit there. See, and there's little things like that that's gonna, that are gonna screw you uh, when you're building your defense because it is a pain in the backside to kind of scroll through all these different units. And back here we've got, uh, you know, that's got air in it as well, but we've got level three hedgehogs coming up on the road and stuff like that. So it, could the could the Soviets just hunker down and not do anything and just ram all their reinforcements in here and just hope for the best? Probably, because the Germans probably, you know, it's gonna be really hard for the Germans to take these forces here, keep them all in supply, Although I've done the math, I mean, I can get all the way around to here with these, with these, with ex two extenders, because I'm continuing to move the rail is now north east of Arel, and it will continue. To, it'll be in Tula in uh, four or five turns. Uh, so we could uh, encircle Moscow and go for it, but you know the weight of reinforcements it doesn't get any better. Uh, you know, if you look down further in December, you know, it doesn't get any better going on. So there will be a lot of things to uh, contend with. So I, I just think it's going to be more interesting to try and do this than, uh, you know, and this fails and we lose a whole bunch of German units and the game's, you know, conceptually the game's over for the Germans and they flip to, you know, some sort of defensive mode and see if they can hang, you know, and then it becomes a hang on uh, uh, model. What can, what can they hold uh, for? you know, hold in the game. Uh, and so what, what can they hold, right? Uh, I am really curious about the Southern strategy. And if, if I were to do anything here, uh, differently, I would perhaps take, you know, I may take some photographs and take a snapshot of what's where, uh, at this point, <clears throat> And then if this all plays out and the game is either over with the Soviets uh, losing Moscow and the uh, Germans capture uh, or the Germans lose or, you know, four or five of these divisions here, we may reset all the forces, which are they're all basically here, reset them all back up over here and then continue the game from there and then look at the southern, the southern strategy with a, with a Schwerpunkt in the south and me starting to peel forces off and head south. Um, that just, I think that might be fun to do that. Or I may just say 14 maps and a couple of thousand counters. I've had my experience with it for 30 or 40 turns. Uh, I'll set it up some other time, something different up some other time, or we'll set up a, a separate, a separate scenario and pack up, uh, the GB2 stuff and take it from there. Who knows? Anyway, now we got into massive ramble. Sorry, have nothing else to say. Let's go. Uh, I'm trying to avoid starting cause, um, this is going to take probably two hours to for me uh, making sure I get the rules right and, and play out this little just 
bringing these units on and and trying to block this supply line. It'll just it'll take me a long time. So I'm uh, procrastinating. So thanks for sharing. Thanks for uh, watching. Bye.